Hello everyone, I'm Emily Price and welcome to Children's Church. Children's Church is a place where children sing and learn about the Lord. This week we will feature the kindergarten, primary and junior lessons. Let's join Auntie Simone in the park for the kindergarten lesson. Happy Sabbath! Happy Sabbath, Auntie Simone. Happy Sabbath, Jaden. Happy Sabbath, Auntie Simone. Happy Sabbath, children in TV land. We are now at lesson number five. And our topic this week is let them come. Let who come? Little children like me. Very good. Our memory verse is taken from Luke 18, verse 16. What does it say? Let the little children come unto me. Very good. Now, I want to ask you a question. Who is your favorite person apart from mommy and daddy? Amelia. Uncle, auntie, and cousin. Jaden. Grandma and uncle now very good and i know you have favorite persons like grandma auntie uncle even teacher well boys and girls we are going to listen a story about how jesus was the children's favorite person while he was on earth one day a little boy's mother heard that jesus was in town she went to her neighbor can you tell me who is your neighbor? The person who lives beside me. Very good. The person that lives close to you. Door. Very good, Jaden. Well, we have neighbors. We all have neighbors. Now, we are going to listen to the story. When the lady asked, is Jesus in town? She was very, very surprised. She didn't know. So she took her little girl and went along with the other lady. Then they saw other mothers with their children going to look for Jesus. So they followed along. As they went, they saw Jesus in town sitting under a tree. And guess what he was doing? He was talking to some people. To some people. Right, he was talking to some adults and even children. When the parents went, they saw a man and they asked, Could we see Jesus? What did the man say to her? The man said, Go away. Jesus is busy. Yes, and he told them to come the other day. The parents were so sad and the children were so sad. Oh my, I would be sad too, right Amelia? Yes, I would be sad too. Now, when Jesus was sitting there, he heard what was going on and Jesus said what? Let the children come unto me. Very good. Jesus said, let the children come unto me. And he opened his arms very wide. And the children ran to Jesus. And they sat in his lap. And Jesus allowed them to do what? Touch his face. And his arms. Yes, and Jesus prayed for the little boys and girls and he asked them to be a part of his family. Would you boys and girls like to be a part of Jesus' family? Yes. I hope you all do. Now we are going to sing a little song for you. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world, whether they are black or white, all are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children. All the children of the world, whether they are black or white, 
all our precious sin inside. Jesus died for all the children of the world. Well, children, I want you to make Jesus a part of your family today. Wasn't that an exciting story? Can you imagine Jesus wants little children to come to him? Amazing. We now join Auntie Sally for the primary lesson. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. This morning, we are going to look at a special story from the primary quarterly. It's God Speaks to Samuel. Have you ever wanted to do something so badly and you know it is wrong? But although you know it is wrong, you still want to do it because it feels like you're supposed to do it. And then you do it. And then you feel so badly you're going to be in trouble. Well, the children of Israel, they knew that they were to listen to God. But they looked around at all the nations around and they had kings and they wanted a king. Samuel was so sad. And then to, to feel good about it, I said to Samuel, listen, you are now old and you have two sons. You have made them priests, but they're not doing the right thing. So we need a king. Samuel was so sad. Wouldn't you be sad, children? Because you have always talked to them about God. Samuel said, listen, if you have a king, he's going to want some things from you that you're not willing to give, but you have to respect him because he's the king. Then Samuel went to God. God said, give them what they want. Give them a king. And children, can you guess who was the first king of Israel? Yes, 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 it was Saul. Saul was the first king. But Samuel was still so annoyed at them because God was so good to them. And Samuel said, you're going to get your king. But I want to remind you of all the things God had done for you. He brought you through the wilderness. He brought you from, through the Red Sea. He fought for you when your enemies tried to hurt you. He fed you, took care of you. But you're so ungrateful. Children, you know what it is to be ungrateful? Everything is done for you, but you're not thankful. And so Samuel said, I'm going to talk to God. And he's going to do something. This is what he's going to do. Samuel said, wait, it was time for the wheat harvest. So they were going to reap. So they needed sunlight. They needed the time to be warm. And Samuel called on God. And God sent shower man, heavy showers of rain, lightning and thunder. And the people were so afraid. They were so afraid that they called out to Samuel, please save us. Samuel said, never mind. In a quiet, calm voice, Samuel said, never mind. The Lord will take care of you. And guess what? They were not so much afraid. They said, no, I know that is because of our wickedness why we did all of this. But God said, because of my great name's sake, I will be pleased to have you as my own. And children, God is so wonderful. We do so many things to hurt God. We make God unhappy, but God still loves us with an everlasting love. But I want you to know today, listen, we have to try to be obedient to God. We have to love him because he has done so much for, for us. And so let us remember this. He said again, he wants to, he's pleased to have us for his great name's sake. And guess what? I did the puzzle. Did you do the puzzle at the end of the lesson? Oh, yes. What did you get? I found four names for Jesus. The first one was Christ. Then the other one was Savior, Emmanuel, and Teacher. And guess what I did? I looked at other names for Jesus. I found about 33. The next time we meet, we're going to look at all the names for Jesus. Be good boys and girls. Be obedient to God. He loves you. Bye. Until I see you again. Love you. Happy Sabbath PowerPoints. This week we are at lesson number five. The topic, unexpected faith. Our core text comes to us from Hebrews 12 verse 2 and it says 
looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Our PowerPoint, as our faith develops, so does our ability to serve. Now the question is asked, when have you asked for something on someone else's behalf? The story this week comes to us from Luke chapter 7, verses 1 to 10. It speaks of a centurion and his servant who was sick with the palsy. Now back in those days, among the Romans, the servants were saved, bought and sold in the marketplaces and were treated with abuse and cruelty. But this centurion was tenderly attached to his servant and greatly desired for his recovery. What did he do? He think not that he was worthy to go to Jesus. So he asked the Jewish leaders to tell, ask Jesus if he could heal his servant. They were delighted to go and this is what they said to Jesus. For he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue. But do you think Jesus was interested in all of that? No. But Jesus, he did not want to help the man because of who he was or for what he had done. No, Jesus wanted to help the man because he saw that this man recognized that he needed help. Hearing that Jesus was on his way to his house, he went to meet him. When he saw him, he said, there is no need for you to come under my roof because I am unworthy. But just say the word and my servant will be healed. Jesus, hearing all of that coming from that man, he was touched and said, I have not heard such great faith, no, not in Israel. So, on whose behalf are you going to ask for someone today? Have a blessed Sabbath. We hope you are blessed, children and parents. On behalf of the Exchange SDA TV team, we pray God's blessing as you go through another week. See you next week. Bye.